Alright, let's get back into this. Uh, a little break. Watch the movie. Oh, got an awful movie. Uh, the Humanity Hero. New Cage movie. Let's bad. see that. Take this bow. Go and stand in position over there. Right, you can start. The and another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring. So be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks. Get in position. Now concentrate. Well, it ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knife, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. Shoot one in the eye, drop the bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn art. That's a lot of fun. contests in the fall. You get to the first place in the time. Holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target, try and win. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. All one movement. Arrow aiming at the target and flying it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm drop. If you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. It's a random position. Yeah, so we can't just have to figure out the sweet spot it is if you don't want to have it. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sophia. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. Grugger, who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. For that. Oh, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good, then let's get to it. Expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. But I do need your bow, right? Right. Whoa! That was pretty scary. Ah. 
the... Are you going to cry now? You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't right. worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. Best years are behind it anyway. Ship hasn't taken it back. I hope he has. Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. of his lordship. Oh, come on then. Nothing. All right, you may continue. Cheese! Respects to you. I'm 
around this period, you know, it's been used to consider the devil's work again and you, you get killed for it. Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> Master Bader, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Well, I'm not sure. I'm just a boy from a forge. Not anymore, lad. Now you're a part of Sir Radzig's retinue. That brings responsibilities. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me, and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. I think you gotta kill someone and sleep at the end before you become a nightingale. Which is something I thought was really fucking cool in Skyrim, by the way. In general, I think Skyrim's a really fucking cool game. That was done very well. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean a quick name. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it.
supposed to go on patrol together you report for duty dressed like that well, I've got nothing better to do you'd look more frightening with a pitchfork go and get kitted out first where do I go for that they'll have something for you at the armory didn't the bailiff tell you the armory is in a bastion of the city wall the last tower before the upper gate on the right hand side you're kitted out ready to get going I'm Nightingale aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart Teresa yes she rescued me she turned up with Captain Robot and his knights all honor to the girl she has bigger balls than most men tell me how did you pay her back well I, um, I thanked her that's not much is it you should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget. I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. It's our church, St. Matthew's. Oh. 
It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the lords of Lypa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius. What is it? Cucumbers! And the jailhouse. We don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Honor? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again That's today. Oh, That's true. What would you know about it? We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and... and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Well... This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around.
We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. Oh. If the hunter saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. God be with you, Henry. Not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Here's the four. The black has not I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. The... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scullets. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. There's a fun with the mother who died. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. <laughs> Master Smill is in charge of Sahanish's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, and so on. It would take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Good health to you. Here I am. Come on. As I was saying before. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. 
Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Uh, yes, I suppose so. But where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff, or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. <laughs> you in front of drink, then we have a drink. That fool got me all worked up. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not?
this. The natural ones. Support paths. No point in pushing it. There's one more thing and we're done for the night. Bringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? Mm -hmm. I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. The bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Okay, I'll let that go for Alright, uh, I'm taking a break right here at this awkward moment because my cat is in desperate need of two hand attention, not just one. Because even though I'm petting her, she's still being aggressive towards me, so. Yep, I need to show her more attention. Get on her like that. Really, she's the one. 